Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, we're going to get into your shell readings. Right after that we'll get into the tarot and finally end with the Moonology Oracle cards to see what Spirit's message is directly for you, Sagittarius. So let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right, Sagittarius, there is a bit of, I want to say a bit of blockages that you may have been experiencing. For some of you guys, it could be directly connected to your finances. Um, so this could greatly be impacting your relationships at the present time uh, or the lack of relationships um, because your focus and your energy is towards uh, finding stability or wanting to find financial stability. Now, in the past and passing, I do see that there was a situation for some of you guys where there was a decision a decision that was made in regards to relationships. So for some of you guys, it could be um, that you completely closed the book on a partner or a relationship. Um, for some of you guys, this could have been a very long-term relationship. It could have been a marriage for some, and that could be the reason why they're saying that your love life is currently being influenced or greatly impacted in regards to your finances as well. Um, so this usually comes up when we're dealing with divorces, when we're dealing with custody battles, anything like that. Um, and I do see that there is a cluster of shells here. So again, uh, feeling very restricted or feeling like uh, nothing is really, um, you're, you can't really put your energy or focus on anything else because you're trying to sort this out. Now, for some of you guys, it could have been a divorce that happened a while ago, but you're still dealing with the mourning or the loss of that relationship. So that could be greatly impacting as well. Now, I do see a lot of progress for you guys, though, in the very current position. Uh, it does speak about an opportunity coming towards you. Um, for some of you guys, it could be referencing a person that tends to be much younger than you. Um, but it is a general reading, so it could be younger or older. And what they're saying is it could be a person that is five to six years younger than you or older than you. Um, and this is a person that could you could accidentally meet through work. So it could be a person that recently starts working where you're currently working at. For others of you, it could be that you meet them while they're at work. So keep that in mind, as I do see that this starts very innocently, and it does start like almost like a friendship that starts to build, but it actually turns into physical connection. Um, so it's not per se something that jumps, you know, from friendship to a relationship. It could be that you start off as friends and hit it off and, you know, start being together <laughs> on a sexual way, then eventually turns into a relationship, okay? Uh, so just, you know, keep your options open. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I do see you guys having to deal with a lot of obstacles or a lot of baggage that has to do with the person from the past. So this could represent to me dealing with a person that was either married or has children and having to deal with the baby mama or um, the baby father. Uh, and it's kind of like it's starting to affect or it's been having an effect in your relationship. Now, the very important thing to keep in mind here is the only way to be able to stabilize this connection or this relationship for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, communication is going to be very important. And it's going to be very important coming, um, coming all the way till January and 2020, really. Um, now, you guys stay tuned for the January readings as I will get into uh, the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction that is going to highly affect every single sign depending on your house. Um, but again, what they are saying here is that for a lot of you guys, there's almost a feeling of wanting to escape a situation or wanting to escape um, your current situation when it comes to partnerships. For some of you guys, it could just represent that you've completely closed off to love and the feeling of, you know, what was experienced at some point in your life 
will never be experienced again. And that's the negative way to go about it because, again, a lot of the times when, I, when I'm doing readings for clients, um, it's almost like we tend to look towards the past in a nostalgic way. And again, it could be because of the holidays. Everyone's experiencing that for some reason. Um, but more than anything, when we stay in the state of mind of feeling like the best years or the best time of our life happened in the past, then you're going to continuously keep experiencing situations or life circumstances that give you reasons to feel that in the exact way that, you know, this is the worst time because the best was something that already happened. So the easiest route to go about it is to be more positive minded and to look forward to the future. The best is yet to come for you, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's get into your cards and let's see what spirit has for you. Very exciting going into 2020. Um, every new year is like a complete blessing and not just that, but there is excitement behind it because there's a lot of things that are unknown to you. Uh, the possibilities are truly endless. So let's get into your reading. See, your current situation is the sun card. And the sun card is joy, happiness, uh, a burst of energy, a burst of an idea, uh, something coming towards you, giving you enlightenment or understanding, highlighting a certain aspect of your life. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while and you've kind of convinced yourself that you're happier being by yourself, Spirit is here to tell you no. Stop convincing yourself of that because the person that's right for you is coming towards you. You need to embrace the possibilities. For those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, if you've been struggling or having difficulties, the sun card is a representation of joyous and happiness surrounding you and having the opportunity to experience that uh, on a deeper level. Now, your obstacle here is the full card, you guys. Come on. This is your obstacle. Stop living in the past. Stop thinking that the best years of your life happened already. Stop thinking that you're not going to find true love. Stop thinking that this relationship you have, you constantly have to question because it could fall apart. Stop all of that. What they're telling you here, the full card as an obstacle, yes, we need to be more practical in our approach to love. But it doesn't mean that you have to be almost like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When people tend to be very snotty about love, when they talk about love, just because you've experienced bad things in the past doesn't necessarily mean that that's your next experience. Of course not. Every person that comes into our lives has the right for us not to put judgment on them based on how we've been treated in the past. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Leo. For others of you, you may be dealing with an Aries energy. The Knight of Pentacles in your past and passing. This has been an extremely long journey for a lot of Sagittarians out there. And if, you, if you're still dealing or still in a relationship, with the person that is extremely toxic, a person that you've put your heart into, you've put all your effort and energy towards, and there is still no change in them, it's time for you to pick up your bags and go. It's time for you to start a new journey. Even if it's hurtful, even if it hurts and we can't imagine our lives without a, our partner, the one we've been with for 10 years. You were not born with them. And if they're dragging you down and not bringing out the best in you, you need to walk away from that. Near future position, you guys, four of wands. Stability. Marriage. Happiness. Creating a home. Finding a long-term monogamous relationship with someone that is going to be as mature. For some of you guys, it could be a person that is much more younger, much more older than you. 
but don't judge them. They've probably experienced more than you. Just because you're older than them doesn't mean that they have not experienced what you've gone through or worse. They know exactly what they want. Do you? Your crowning energy, Sagittarius, the tower. This is what's on your mind. Chaos, confusion, not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, thinking the worst. For some of you guys, this could represent, when I get these cards together, right? Instead of the full card, I get the, the lover's card. It usually represents to me a whirlwind romance. Something that comes very quickly and takes off very quickly in a positive way. But we have the full card, a new beginning. The sun card, it's a blessing. You've earned this, Sagittarius. And it's coming quick. It's going to transform your life. It's going to change your life. It's going to change the way you see relationships. It's going to change the way you see or think of yourself. It's going to transform and completely change your perspective on love and partnerships. And it's coming quick. Very strong and powerful cards, especially because we're at the end, the conclusion of this year, going towards a new beginning, a new year, a year of opportunities, a year of transformative type of energy. What have you learned from the past? Has it made you bitter? Has it made you unhappy? Has it made you feel lonely? Are you still dealing with the relationship that's not working for you? And they're dragging you down. Don't be afraid to seek your happiness. Don't be afraid and pull away or not pull away because you feel like you are, it's going to be difficult for them. If they're not willing to change and fix the relationship, why should you care how they deal with the breakup? But you got to change. You got to make choices. Seven of Swords. Confused energy. Maybe even dealing with a person that at some point made you even turn against your family or you feel like they're against you because they see the destruction that that person creates around you. Out with the old, in with the new. Completely transform your life, Sagittarius. And the potential of transforming it is very, very heightened in this reading. For some of you guys, it could be that you came out of a relationship that was extremely toxic. It devastated you. It changed the way you see life, the way you see yourself, the way you see relationships. But this new person coming towards you is going to do exactly that, but in the positive light. A blessing in disguise. Your advice card, Eight of Pentacles. Keep working on yourself, Sagittarius. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with taking some time to be alone. There's nothing wrong with being independent and being single. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to rush into relationships. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. 
But when it gets to the point where you become lonely or you've secluded yourself from the real world because you just don't want to deal with that type of energy, it's not good. You're doing a disservice to yourself. The advice here with the Eight of Pentacles is what is it that you're working towards? Are you working on yourself? Are you trying to accomplish something? Are you putting effort and energy towards your work and your finances that you completely disregarded relationships? Because, honey, whether you're ready or not, it's coming. The world card. Sagittarius, if ever I've done a reading for you and I've said this is like a beautiful reading, I think this is like the one reading that is extremely powerful for you guys. This is the energy surrounding you, the energy around you, the world. By now, you should have learned your lessons. By now, moving forward, from here on out, moving forward is nothing but growth, advancement, experiences, travel, new people coming into your life to bring balance, finding yourself again, understanding that there's nothing wrong with being playful. There's nothing wrong with being your ha happy, bubbly self. That's your energy. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to smile. It's okay to have a good time. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful card, Sagittarius. Progress. Movement. Travel. I see you guys traveling. Now this could be in this month. This could be going to January. But the Eight of Wands is very quick movement. And it's a travel card next to the World card, which is another travel card. I do see travel for you guys. Travel is very highlighted here. You may meet the person when you're not in your city. You may meet the person that is going to completely blow your mind. And it could be a person that you meet when you're away from home. And it's like ending the cycle of struggle. Ending the cycle of toxic, toxic energy. Ending the cycle of restrictions. Of feeling like you have to constantly be watching your back. Going towards new beginnings, new experiences, new people, and the arrows of love. And the offer. Knight of Cups. A person is confessing or professing their love to you. True, genuine love. A balanced individual. A mature person. Someone that is very good with their emotions. Someone that, yes, perhaps they've struggled in the past when it comes to relationships, but they're still willing to and optimistic about the future. Handing you over their trust and their devotion to you. And if you can see in this card, it's like the clouds are opening up and the sun is beaming down. God sent. Beautiful. Beautiful reading, Sagittarius. You're right at the bottom. My dear Sagittarius, if you're still dealing with this toxic energy, don't be scared to put yourself first. Don't be scared of what may be of them when you're no longer there, that's not your responsibility and that's not your business. If they weren't willing to put effort and work and change, that's on them. But don't keep your happiness away from you because of fear. 
this 2020 is going to be about growth, travel, and advancement for you. Love. For those of you guys that came from a toxic relationship and you now have a new relationship where you're finding that this happiness is something that you've never experienced. Stop questioning it. I see commitment. I see marriage. And that's not something that usually shows up in readings, at least not very clear. Time is fluid. But in this reading, it's achievable and attainable for you. Now I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology, and this is a specific message that is coming for you. And in regards to Spirit's message, your hard work is paying off. New Moon in Capricorn. You guys... What is the sign of Capricorn if not hard work, diligence? Life has not been easy for you. Relationships has not been easy. It's cost you sweat, blood, and tears. But what does Saturn do? Like the father figure. It gives you, it gives you its rewards, the rewards you've earned through hard work. Saturn does not give to those that have not earned it or deserve it. You've earned this. You've earned this happiness. You've earned this joyous momentum energy. Through everything you've been through, say out loud, I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful for this. Why? Because it was cementing your future. Because it was bringing to you the happiness you genuinely deserve. New moon, new energy, new beginnings. Beautiful card, Sagittarius. Believe in yourself. No more self-doubting. No more wondering or questioning. It's in your hands. Take it. Own it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I want to let you guys know that I wish every single one of you guys a blessing. Well, tons of blessings. But a specific blessing for this Yule. For Christmas and New Year's. May this new year bring to you the happiness, the abundance and success that you deserve. From my family to yours, Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. So we'll see each other in January. Bye.